Luka, they've got to go now. Mesny of Norway has got 30 or 40 metres on the other athletes. They're going to have to unleash a massive last lap if they're going to catch the Norwegian. We saw Jakob Ingebrigtsen take a gold medal in the 1500, in the 5K. Could Mesny here make it three golds for Norway? He's looking over his shoulder. It's a nervous look for the Norwegian, but he doesn't need to be nervous. If anything, he's stretching his lead as he comes around with 250 to go. Jimmy Gressier, the Merham Van Krippa are working really hard to try and reel the Norwegian in. Here goes Krippa. He's gone fast. He's gone hard. He didn't want to take any of the other athletes with him. 200 metres to go. Krippa could be about to cause an upset in the closing few metres here. Could he convert his bronze in the 5,000 to gold here? But the Frenchmen are coming as well. Schlupp of France is moving the fastest at the moment. He's trying to take Jimmy Gressier with him. 100 metres to go. Norway first, Italy second. And here goes Jelena Berhan Krippa. He is going to take a gold. Krippa kicking hard. He looks left, he looks right, and he's got nobody for company. leading trio at this stage well hey Mayo Cripper all looking really really good Mortimer just starting to struggle slightly just grit your teeth Tom and you'll be rewarded with a good personal best without a doubt regardless of whether you finish first or fourth so Mayo now starting to really crank it up he's really increased the pace as he's coming in with 500 meters to go that pace has increased over the last couple of hundred meters from 1330 pace all the way down to as you can see on the left hand side of your screen 1322 Mortimer now is getting rather detached he's down to the leading trio the trio that we expected to be the main protagonists in this race and it's Spain France and Italy at the moment Mayo trying for the long run from home he knows Kripa's got a good sprint finish hey useful as well perhaps not the quickest of the trio now Kripa starting to come up with 250 meters to go now grimacing Mayo but he can't resist Kripa Kripa edged himself into the front hey is now easing back just very slightly now a meter and a half between Mayo and Hay as the trio enter the home straight. It's still Cripper. Cripper really working hard now. He's starting to go through the gears. Mayo grimacing, but he's got nothing to answer. Yamani Bahan, Cripper. Cripper now well on his way to winning back to back European Team Championships and a championship record for Yamani Bahan, Cripper. <laughs> led the way through 4,000 meters in 11.06.74. So we're now looking at roughly around a 13.40 pace, which could potentially just challenge, just very, just challenge if they speed up as we expect, as they come round to see one lap to go, 500 meters to go. They are within striking distance of that championship record of 13.36.75 by Ali Kaya and Turkey. So there's three men in this race and then a big, big gap to Sweden's Sudan Hassan. 12.46 unofficially as they went through the bell. So they're going to be outside. No doubt at all about it. They're not going to get the championship record. Now Krippus just starting to go through the gears. Wanda's looking very comfortable. Petros drifting back now. So Kripa, just with that short clip stride, but very efficient, efficient, very quick over the ground. A plethora of European under-20, under-23 titles to his name. Also a fantastic cross-country runner, really 
third on the Italian all-time list for this event after his 13.07 recently. Well, he doesn't need to be at his best for this event. He's got such a wonderful turn of speed. And he just pulls away to win by about 15 metres from Switzerland's Julian Wanders. 14, 13, 43, 29 unofficially. Wanders takes second place. Petros, the bronze. Hugo Hay of silver just gets up to take fourth place from France. Followed home by Jimenez of Spain. And then Hassan of Sweden. That's the top six. And then almost 100 metres down the straight to the rest of the men. No doubt at all, Yamani Bahan had everything in his armoury over that last lap, showed his talent. We had just over 700 metres to go, Gripper. Looking strong, Petros. Well, where's he come from? He was silent for the first eight kilometres of this race, but really put himself in the mix here. That well, was extraordinary. The European under 23s two years ago, Kripper showed he had a fantastic kick, showed it once again at the Europeans, where he got a bronze medal last year. But has it been ran out of him yet? Is Petros any fresher as he grits his teeth coming through the final stage of this race? Such a congested field as we look down the back straight, the crowd really getting excited. Can Kripper hold on? Buchiki's fading and Connor's moved up to third. The British athlete, Kripper, looking uh, quite relaxed at the front at the moment. Petros grimacing somewhat as they are coming to the final 400 metres. We're going to be in for a fast last lap here at Highgate for the night of 10,000 metre PBs. This is the European 10,000 metre cup. Here comes the gong. It's Kripper leading Petros through. Petros still on his tail. Digging deep as the rain pours down here at Parliament Hill. The Italians also on track for that gold medal. First, seventh and ninth, even though the Brits have closed up to third and sixth. Ben Connor putting in a really good run here. He's uh, somewhere ahead of Buchiki in third, but he's well adrift of second. You know, you talked a few laps ago about Ben Connor heading for 28.06. He's going to break 28 minutes. I mean, they've gone through the bell in 26.51. This is brilliant from Ben Connor. 200 metres to go and Petros, the German athlete, is taken to the front. Kripper might just be holding something in for the final 100 metres. Taking a look at some of the athletes as they're coming into the back straight. And it's going to be... Kripper, the Italian, that's coming through to take this one. Petros didn't have enough in the tank and it's Kripper who takes gold here in the European 10,000 metre cup. Great run from Petros, the German who gets second. I think Ben Connor might just dip under 28 minutes in third. A great yes. run from the Brit. Well, Kripper, he looked composed throughout that race. De Boyne are hanging on to their coattails. Kripper, the second fastest under 23 in Europe this year. Trying to come through fast, but he's left himself far, far, far too much. 80 metres to go, three abreast. It's Petros. Petros now starting to weaken. De Bruyne, but look at Kripper. Kripper coming from so far back. Kripper, a magnificent surge over the final 50 metres. And gold goes to Italy. Johannes Bahan Kripper takes gold. The time, the time doesn't really matter. For the record, unofficially, 14-14-28. Well, Kripper just timed it to perfection. Well, the men at the front of them were looking at each other. Kripper came from so far back over the final 100 metres.